First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakat Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who will and who has the 100% truth. First and foremost, the name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh. Yah is He. Hawaii. He is. He is this. The name of His only begotten Son, His beloved Son, is Yahweh Shai. Yah is He. Yahweh Shai, the Savior, the Deliverer. And our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, is whom we are waiting for to come in these last days. And we are most definitely in the last of the last days. This is the brother of the Rock from Detroit Camp. And in the spirit and power of Yahweh by some Yahweh side, I pray this is lesson is edify. But first I'm gonna run this short clip and then we're gonna hear some scriptures. And those two essentially be in the trenches with the people who are waking up from this old old regime. Now, as I say that, I, I know that, that everyone listening to this is like, fuck, I know where I'm going to be already. Even when I see people standing up and say creating the new earth, that will be capitalized on by those people who still want the old system. There's nothing preventing them from walking straight onto your property and taking it by force. If, let's say, we have a whole group of people that go off the grid and start to create the new Earth, it's like, great, I hope you hid your plan somewhere, because guess who's going to be the next target? I mean, this is about to get really, really, really bad. Also, there will be a division in this time period between the people who are really meant to build that society that is going to come after this one, and those people who are meant to essentially be in the trenches with the people who are waking up from this old old regime. Now, as I say that, I, n I know that, that everyone listening to this is like, fuck, I know where I'm gonna be already. Even when I see people standing up and say creating the new earth, that will be capitalized on by those people who still want the old system. And those... Now with that, I'm gonna give some scriptures. And we're going to start with Jeremiah 28 and 8. Because we're getting ready to come into some perilous times. We're getting ready to come into Jacob's trouble. Because we see these prophecies playing out each and every day. Each and every day. As Elder Apostle Tahar coined 2024 year of Jacob's trouble coming to pass and that's what it seems like it's coming that it's, that it's doing Jeremiah prophet Jeremiah 28 and 8 the prophet that has been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence okay as the prophets today are doing Calling out the wicked Esau, Edom, rich and elite bacon families, self proclaimed white man, and you other heathen nations, also the wicked of you, Jakes, you so called niggas, Latinos, and Native Americans, who want to stay up upon their oppressor. Okay? We're giving you warning that Babylon, the great spiritual Solomon, Egypt, aka America, will be destroyed by thermonuclear missiles. But it's going to be a lot of a lot of other stuff going on before that. Okay, Jeremiah twenty eight nine. The prophet which prophesied of peace, when the word of the prophet shall come to pass, then shall the prophet be known that the Most High Yahweh have truly sent them. The signs are here. If you have eyes to see, okay. You have Russia and Ukraine going at it. Also Iran, China, North Korea, and Japan going at it. The Philippines and China. Let's not forget about the European nations. They had those uh, war games, getting them ready for nuclear war. 
Okay? All the signs out there. Okay? If you have eyes to see it, though. They also got going, what's going on over there in uh, the so-called Middle East. There's no peace over there. That's not the Middle East. That's more or less what's in Asia. Okay. Ecclesiastes 3, 1 through 3. To everything there is a season and a time. You got, you got the different seasons in which you plant things and the like, Okay. The weather changes, you know. Things die. And things can be born, okay? And things can grow. Ecclesiastes 3, 1 and 3. To everything, there's a season. And a time to every purpose under the heaven. A time to be born, a time to die. A time to plant and a time to pluck up that which is planted. A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to break down and a time to build up. This is the time to build up. To build your knowledge, wisdom, and understanding up for the Holy Scriptures, okay? Because we're in the last days. 2 Timothy 3, 1-3. Just know also that in the last days, perilous times will come. Okay? Just look at that word, perilous, in the dictionary. Let's define it. And it means definition from Oxford language, full of danger or risk, a perilous journey, exposed to imminent risk of danger or ruin. See if I can find another one. What does perilous mean in the Bible? Dangerous, hazardous, precarious, perilous, risky, mean bringing or in Involving the chance of loss or injury. Dangerous applies to something that may cause harm or loss unless dealt with carefully. Okay? That's pillar ties. And we are the beginning of those signs, beginning of sorrows. Okay? There's no also that in the last days, perilous ties will come. For men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemous, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truth breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce, despise of those that are good. And you're seeing that now. As the uh, uh, Prime Minister Trudeau in Canada getting those laws together to not allow men like us teaching the truth. And since they're part of North America and they're joined hip to hip with Esau Edom over here, they're joined together because they are the same people. Okay? That law will be made here soon. Okay. Without natural affection, truth breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce despisers of those that are good. These people mindset is on evil. Okay. They're all evil. Yeah, then you got road rages out there that are often people, okay? These people are none to morality. They got no morals. Okay. Their blood is evil, is, is wicked. That's what fuels them. Matthew 24 and 12. And because, and because iniquity said, shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. So this is the time to build up in the Holy Scriptures, Isaiah 33 and 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. The and strength of salvation, the fear of the Messiah Yahweh is his treasure. So you must fear the Heavenly Father Yahweh by the Yahweh side. Okay? You must fear him. 
Because the fear of the heavenly father of your house, your house I will cause you to do the things that are pleasing to him. Not pleasing to you. Because that's why we're in this situation now. We went against the heavenly father of your house and your house. Okay? Because he is the power of judgment. He's the God of judgment. First Peter 4, 17. For the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of the Most High Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh And if it first begin at us, where well, shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of the Most High Yahweh? What would the end be? If he judging his own first, in which he does that because after all, we are his children, not Esau, Edom, and not you heathen nations, other heathen nations. So if he's judging us, you other heathen nations, he's like, hey, you ain't got a chance, okay? If he's judging us first, First Peter 4, 17 again, for the time to come, that judgment must begin at the house of the Most High Yahweh by us from Yahweh's side. And if it first begin at us, where shall the end be a dim that obey not the gospel of the Most High Yahweh by us from Yahweh's side? Okay? Proverbs 9, 10 to 12. The fear of the Most High Yahweh is the beginning of wisdom. And the knowledge of the holiest understanding. For by me thy day shall be multiplied. And the years of thy life shall be increased. If thou be wise, thou shalt be wise with thyself. But if thou scornest, thou alone shalt bear it. Ecclesiastes 3.8 A time to love and a time to hate. A time of war and a time of peace. So we're definitely not in the time of peace. Everybody is protesting about one thing or another. And this is worldwide. If you have been watching the border debates that was going on in Texas and all of them things that's going on in New York with the migrants, a lot of them jakes, but you got some coming across that border that's not these other heathen nations and they look military age and now they're having a Southern division. You have you're getting sedition amongst men. They're going against the government because they want that border shut down. So if you've been watching the border debate eventually, this is gonna to lead to civil war. Babylon the Great, spiritual Solomon, Egypt, also known as America. It's become divided in which everything will lead up to Jacob's trouble. We are at its threshold. Jeremiah 35 through 7. With that said, the Most High Yahweh, we have, a, we have heard of voice of trembling, of fear, and not of peace. Actually, now I see whether a man doth travail with child. How can a man travail with child? He can't have kids, he can't get pregnant. Okay? Even though Esau ate him and this mad scientist trying to make it a fact, but that's impossible because man was made for that, only the woman. And that's why this place is upside down because Esau ate him, distorted everything. That's in the Holy Scriptures. Guess it's not for him. Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins? That's a woman in travail. And all faces are turned to pillars. Turn to the penalty because of the things that are coming upon these people. Okay? They're going to be scared. They're going to be frightened. Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble. But he shall be saved out of it. Who is the he? The elect of Israel. Not you other heathen nations, not you Esau either. He shall be saved. I was talking about the elect, only the elect of Israel. Not all of Israel will be saved on this side, but ultimately all of Israel will be redeemed. Okay? And they're going to come back. The two thirds is lost on the side, going to come back through the loins of 144,000 ruling government men. Amongst the one third men, women, and children that will be saved out of here. 
He shall be saved out of here. It's talking about the elect. Only the elect of Israel. Not all of Israel will be saved on the side. Because they don't believe in the Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh side. Romans 11, 5 through 7. Even so, there at this present time, also there is a remnant according to the lesson of grace. And if by grace, then it is no more works. Otherwise, grace is no more grace. But if it be a works, then it is no more grace. Otherwise, work is no more work. What then? Okay. So it's grace period selling up the elect. It's not a works. It's according to your election. Okay. Again, Israel have not obtained that which he's seeking for, but the election have obtained it. And the rest were blinded. So because you two third J's don't believe in Yahabashim Yahabashai because you want to still be a nigga or Native American or Mexican, so-called Mexican, instead of your biblical heritage, which are the Hebrew Israelites, the Bible speaks of. It's not going to stop the prophecies. Romans 3, 3 to 4. For the, what if some did not believe? So if their unbelief make the faith of the Most High without effect, Yahweh forbid. Yeah, let the Most High Yahweh be true. But every man a liar, as it is written, that thou mightest be justified in thy sins, and mightest overcome when thou art judged. Okay? So only the elect will make it out of here. Okay? Zechariah 13, 8 through 9. And this shall come to pass that in all the land said the Messiah Yahweh, two parts there shall be cut off and die. But the third shall be left there. Okay. And I will bring the third part through the fire. That's you two thirds. You gotta imagine a piece of pie, okay? Cut in three parts. Okay. Two of those parts, which make up the majority of that pie, are going to be cut off. It's going to be one of those slither left. That's the remnant. The third part, through the fire, it will refine them as silver is refined. It will try them as gold is tried. They shall call on my name, and I will hear them. I will say, it is my people, and they shall say, the most like Yahweh is my power. Okay, because Jacob's trouble is what it says. It's coming to all of you, Jacob, even to us. This is why Isaiah thirty three and six shall be at the you should be at the forefront of our minds, our eyes, our hearts. This is already happening on a light scale, but soon it will get heavy. And when it does this, when it does, this is what you should expect, and it will come. Okay, so you can expect this. Okay, when take his trouble come in that great tribulation because this devil is going to come down on us. Revelation 12 and 12. Okay. Second Ezra 15, 15 through 18. Because this is what is getting ready to happen. Some of it is happening now. For the sword of the destruction draw it not. And one people shall stand up and fight against another. And swore us in their hands. Why? Why is they going to be doing that? Because Esau, Edom knows his kingdom, rulership, age. It's going down. He's going to fight to keep it. And it's all done by the spirit of power Yahweh by from Yahweh's side. He is the director of this movie. Which is written out in the spiritual world realm. Before everything was created. But there shall be sedition among men, says the verse. They shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand at their power. A man shall decide to go out to a city and shall not be able to, for because of their pride the city shall be troubled. The houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. Okay, because what? You will be locked down in your prospective cities. No one will be able to come in or out. Why? Because it will be perilous times. Dangerous times. It's going to be times of loss, death, destruction, disease. Okay? Those days are coming. That time is coming. 
2 Ezra 15, 15 through 19. For the sword and the destruction draw nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another, and swords in their hands. For there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes. In the course of their actions shall stand in their power. A man shall decide to go into the city and shall not be able. For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled. The houses shall be destroyed. And men shall be afraid. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy the houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. That's that word, great tribulation. Okay. Woe is me, woe is me. Who will deliver me in those days? And this is what Ezra saw. And he was scared. He was frightened. He was frightened. Woe is me, woe is me. Who will deliver me in those days? The beginning of sorrows and great mournings. The beginning of famine and great death. The beginning of wars and the power shall stand in fear. The beginning of evils. What shall I do when these evils shall come. Behold, famine and plague, tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for amendment. But for all these things they shall not turn from their wickedness, nor be always mindful of the scourges. Okay? They're still going to be, after, after all that, the scourges are still going to be Doing the, the same thing they always have been doing. Okay? But that last plague is going to hit them. For all of these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness, nor be always mindful of the scourges. Behold, virtual shall be so good cheap upon earth that they shall think themselves to be a good case. Just like in the days of Noah. You see it all the time. People, they get married on on the street, and you see it. There's still there's a lot of vanity going on. They're taking a lot of selfies, and partying up, I'm like ain't hey, nothing going on. But right now they still can go to the grocery store and work, go off the shelves, and get the things that they need. But those days getting ready to end. Behold. In the twenty verse twenty one, behold, virtual shall be so good cheap upon her that they shall think themselves to be a, in good case, and even then shall evils grow upon her, sword, famine, and great confusion. For many of them that dwell upon her shall perish of famine, and the other that escape the hunger, so the sword destroyed. And the dead shall be cast out as dung, and, shall, and there shall be no man to comfort them. For the earth shall be wasted, and the city shall be cast out. Okay? But well, first, Revelation 13 and 16 has to be made mandatory. And if you take it, Revelation 14 and 9 will be your judgment. By those thermonuclear missiles. Remember this. And also by those chariots of Yahweh by some Yahweh then which will have so like a concentrated fire coming out of them, laser beams. It's going to be turning people to dust if you ever seen that movie Tom by you know Tom Cruise starred in it, War of the Worlds. But Revelation 13 and 16 has to happen. Has to be made mandatory. Okay. Second so Peter 3 and 10. But the day of the most high by some homicide shall come as a thief in the night, in which the heavens shall pass away with the great noise, and elements shall melt with fervent heat. What well, does that? Melt the elements. Fervent heat. That's those thermal looking missiles that are. Therefore, shall be burned up. The day of the Messiah, Yahweh, shall come as a thief in the night, and the witch 
the heavens shall pass away with the great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat, the nuclear missiles. The earth also and the works that are there yet shall be burned up. Okay. Malachi 1 and 6, but behold, the day coming that shall burn that's an oven. Malachi 4, 1 through 6. Let me read it again. For behold, the day coming that shall burn that's an oven. And all the proud, you shall eat them. And then you got some Jays out there that's proud. Okay. And all the proud. Yeah, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble. What makes things stubble? Fire. And the day that cometh shall burn them up. Double nuclear missiles, ICBMs, IB, IBCMs, okay? Said the Most High Yahweh of hosts, that it shall lead them neither root nor a branch. Zechariah 4 and 12. And this shall be the play wherein, wherewith, the Most High Yahweh will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet, and their eyes shall consume away in their holes, and their tongues shall consume away in their mouths. The plague, this plague is the last plague. It will bring the righteous kingdom of our Lord Yahweh Shah, okay, and under him, King David, then 144,000 ruling government, which are men. And the men, women, and children that make up the 130 like, will be saved. The remnant. Okay? That's what's, that's what's going to be saved out of here. The remnant. If you see the movie Terminator with Arnold Schwarzenegger, which he starred in, Linda, Ham Linda Hamilton also, she starred in it and she played Sarah Connor. And which in Detroit we call the Sarah Connor effect, the effects of the thermonuclear missiles. So you see that she was hanging on the fence. Thermonuclear is hit. In the vision that she had, and those thermonuclear missiles went off, okay? And while she was hanging on the fence, they showed the image of her flesh leaving her bones. But you still can see the bones. But see, that's not the whole story. Because what's getting ready to happen soon, you know, I don't know how soon, but it's going to happen. This word going to go back void. When that happened, them thermonuclear missiles, 200 million million. That's like the TNT, the payload, out of the head and the, the mouth of the thermonuclear missiles. It's going to be packed. It's going to be packed with destructive power. Okay? And you don't want to be here when that time comes. And it's going to come after the, after, after the uh, Great Tribulation. And it's going to happen in real time, right after the Great Tribulation. Only to eat, let the Israel be saved. Not Esau, Edom, or none of you other heathen nations. Even the two-thirds of Israel won't make it. I pray I'll be one of the elect that make it out unto the chariots. The Heavenly Father, Yahweh, by some your house, before the thermonuclear missiles hit. Okay? Because Babylon the Great is going to be desolate. It's going to be a... It's only desert animals going to dwell here, okay? Isaiah 26 and 20 through 21. Come, my people, enter down to thy chambers. And stuff to do else about thee. Hide thyself after the word for a little moment until the indignation be overpassed. But it's, what is this talking about? It's talking about the chairs. The Heavenly Father, Yahweh, by the house. Okay? And he's going to be banged up on the fathership. Now I say, come, my people, enter thou into thy chambers, and shut thy doors. And you people, they're going to call UFOs and UAPs. But you should know by now, all those reports, all those sightings, and there are more sightings every day all over the world, but mainly in Babylon the Great, a.k.a. America. Because this is the place, okay, that's going to be destroyed because Jake is over here. This is the place of deliverance. Or adjustment for you, Jays. Okay? It'll be that again. Come, my people, and sit down to thy chambers, and shut thy doors about thee. Hide thyself, I said, for war for a little moment, until the indignation be overpassed. This indignation is the righteous anger. Okay? For behold, the Most High Yahweh coming out of his place to punish the inhabitants of the earth for their iniquity. 
which is sin upon sin. The earth also shall disclose her blood and shall no more cover her slain. Okay? Again, in the nation of the thermonuclear missile, Matthew 24, 29 to 31. Immediately after the tribulation, of those days shall the sun be darkened, and the moon shall not give her light, and the stars shall fall from heaven. Okay? And the powers of the heaven shall be shaken, and then there shall appear the Son of Man in heaven, and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man come into the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. And he shall send his angels with the great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds, from one end of the heaven to the other. And then when this happens, what's going to happen, you're going to see the chariot of a, the fathership of law accompanied and filling the whole sky with the angel, with the host, the army of hosts of the angels. And rather the individual chariots, so-called UFOs, gathering up the elect and they bring them on to the fathership, which sounds plausible. But in the case, the elect will be saved out of here before those thermonucleus destroy this place, those thermonuclear missiles. And he shall send his answer with the great sound of a trumpet. And they shall gather together his elect from the four winds from one end of the heaven to the other. But unto you that fear my name shall the Son of Righteousness arise, will he lay ye in his wings, and ye shall go forth and grow up as calves of the star, and ye shall tread down the wicked, but they shall be ashes under the soles of your feet. And in, that, and, and in the day that I shall do this, said the Most High Yahweh of hosts, remember ye the law of Moses, my servant, which I commanded unto him in horror for all Israel, with the statutes and judgments, behold, I will send you Elijah the prophet before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Most High Yahweh, and he shall turn the heart of the fathers to the children, and the heart of the children to their fathers, lest I come and smite the earth with the curse. And that already happened. Abba Bemis, the elders that taught our apostles. And then the apostles taught the other prophets all the way down to now. Okay, and this is what then this is what already has happened. And he shall turn the heart of the fathers to the children, and the heart of the children to their fathers, lest I come and smite the earth with a curse. Okay. So those are those things that have already happened. Okay, and that's why this wisdom, not understanding how the Holy Spirit is going, you know, it's going. You, you need to get it. And I speak for me first and foremost, and constantly, and you know, into this, to get this wisdom, not understanding of these scriptures, because this it has the wisdom, not knowledge, and it's going to help you navigate through Jacob's trouble. And draw you closer to the heavenly Father Yahweh by some Yahweh, and it's gonna bring out that 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 extra faith in you. And it's gonna build your mind up. Okay. So with that, the water to Yahweh by some Yahweh stuff will allow me to get this out. I want to give all praise, I and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem or Kakudas, double honor to the apostles and others, great mystery on who will. And with that, Salawam.